In Tulane's seven dynamics lab, the main um, sort of research questions that we're after is trying to understand how water and sediment makes it through river deltas. And what we try to do is um, run reduced scale experiments where we take environments like maybe the Mississippi um, River Delta uh, and try to shrink them down into uh, controlled environments in the lab. What we're doing in this experiment basically is um, we're replicating a turbidity current that will move down the continental slope. What you have is this water and sediment that's all churned up together. Once it comes into the basin, it just moves via gravity down the slope. It's depositing sediment in the center of the channel. While the experiment's going on, uh, the types of information we're able to collect on it have to do with things like the velocity at which the currents are going. We also have instrumentation that allows us to measure the concentration of sediment that's at different locations within the flow. So we do all of those things um, as the current goes on. We inject dye into the flow so that we can do overhead photography and figure out um, sort of from that photography what's going on with the flow. Um, the experiments last for about nine minutes. We then are able to attach up to our uh, instrumentation cart on the basin a uh, sonar system that basically allows us to make a three-dimensional map of the floor of the basin. And we do this um, one flow after another flow after another flow over the course of a couple of weeks. And um, from those sequential maps that we're doing following every flow, we can figure out where the sediment is going, where it's getting deposited. Understanding how deltas work, uh, given southeast Louisiana and where we live, uh, is a really challenging set of research problems, but a really important set of research problems. A very, very large um, number of people in this world live on river deltas, and those, those deltas are, um, are extremely dynamic environments. And uh, we don't necessarily have the greatest understanding of how water and sediment is transported through river deltas and how that sediment gets deposited on a delta top. 